Munichs Pinakothek der Moderne is a special place of inspiration. Florian Schwarz is here with Dr. Michael Herrler, who is overseeing the design of the new navigation system professional. Dr. Heller, so what exactly is the connection between a museum and the new navigation system professional? Of course, we as designers go through life with our eyes open. We find inspiration in architecture, art, shapes and colors. Here, for example, we have beautiful lighting effects that also give us the idea for the new navigation system professional. This shows very clearly how the sculpture is staged against the background lighting. The interplay between shadow and light gives fantastic emphasis to the edge. And this is precisely the effect we wanted to convey to the digital world through the new screen design. The Art of Car Design exhibit showcases BMW stylistic elements. Here we clearly see these dynamic flowing lines that are highly typical of BMW. And it's precisely these dynamics we're wanting to pursue, from the exterior design to the interior design through to the tiniest detail, to create an overall experience for the customer. Florian and Dr. Michael Herrler have arrived in the basement of the Pinakothek, home to the impressively illuminated Dana Rotunde. The BMW designer has drawn inspiration above all from the special light mood. Dr. Herrler, how were the inspirations actually translated into the design of BMW's new navigation system professional? I can easily show you how. Here, we began with a jet black room that really conveys depth. And here, the dynamic lines in the background that expand the room again by this third dimension. The edge of the menu that's currently open is given additional emphasis in order to create yet another special focus. The active cursor also gets a kind of laser light to allude more to the active element. You've brought along an object for us to look at. What can we see? Yes, the new system is constructed in 3D for the first time. And the controller's movement, for example, will be animated in the system in real time later. And we can see that clearly here. When I move the object, the light changes from left to right. And we have exactly the same effect if the controller tilts in the vehicle. If the customer moves the controller to the right, I see a highlight in real time to the right. Exactly the same if he moves it to the left. And what about technical implementation? Yes, that was of course new territory for us. But it was extremely exciting. These 3D elements enable us for the first time to really fuse the digital contents of the screen with the interior. That, of course, is another of BMW's goals, to create a holistic experience. And do I need to get used to a new operating concept? No, not at all. The logic remains exactly the same. The new operation-optimized design shows the displays of the BMW's new navigation system professional in an even higher, more brilliant and appealing quality. The displays are arranged against a black background and with much smaller dimensions. An atmospheric light mood emphasizes the modern look. The new display makes it even easier to read the contents and operate the functions. The general arrangement of the individual menus is now displayed in virtual 3D spaces and calculated in real time. The high performance system with 1.3 GHz processor and integral 3D graphic chip enables flowing scrolling. High quality animations and dynamic transitions turn operation into an experience. Armin Distler, responsible for the display operating concept, is expecting Florian. Hello, Mr. Distler, and welcome. I would like to know how design correlates with function. Let's use this building as an example. The purpose of Munich's Pinakothek der Moderne is to appropriately showcase its exhibits, allowing them sufficient space and sufficient light. Conversely, it must also be highly aesthetic to the outside world, as it appeals to me, for example, very much. When I pass by, I feel instantly welcome and perceive this building as a special building. And that's what we want to achieve in our vehicles in terms of operation. For our customers not only to understand the functionality, but also for them to interact with high operating safety during their journey, while perceiving the vehicle interior as highly aesthetic. Then I'd like to take a look inside the vehicle. With the new navigation system professional, design and design functionality go hand in hand. 
We need to get our customers on board the very first time we meet them, explain to them the degree of freedom they have when operating the system from the controller. A nice example here is the direction of rotation. How do I need to rotate the controller to move down the list? The connection between the cursor and the controller shows that this works only by rotating to the right. What we also need in the system is a menu interaction over various menu levels. We can show that clearly here. I come from the left side, I'm in the telephone directory, and can now move by tilting the controller. At the very moment I actuate it, this list moves towards me, sending out a signal in the process. I'm now ready for operation. Another very important aspect for us is scrolling. The driver needs to be able to select entries while driving without distraction. Here we have varying degrees of speed, so when I interact slowly, I see slow scrolling, and when I interact quickly, the process speeds up, finding the entries more quickly. All animations are always held in the system to fulfill a particular purpose. In other words, they help the customer understand the system. They don't just exist for the sake of it. They're supposed to assist the customer with operation while he's driving. Mr. Distler, thank you. To try out the new navigation system professional, Florian is now on the road with Thomas Stocker. As development project manager, he's more familiar than anyone else with the new functions. Mr. Stocker, thank you for joining us and briefing me. Let's start with navigation. What new features are there? The displays for the navigation process and the map views, for example, have been revised. The split screen here in the central information display now has new display functionalities. Even when inputting the destination country, city or street, the split screen shows me the selected city in the map view too, thus helping orientation. I can zoom in, checking whether the destination displayed is the one I really want. And here we see, for example, the high guiding function. What exactly means high guiding and what's the benefit? High guiding is an expansion of the established guiding system using the arrows in the split screen. High guiding is activated automatically. The arrow view then becomes a detailed display of the surrounding area. This enables you to better orientate yourself at the end. The 3D city models too, that is, the lifelike display of streets and buildings, is supposed to help orientation. And what new features are there when it comes to multimedia? One new feature is our multimedia player. We've introduced the replay list similar tracks. If I like a song I'm currently listening to, for example, I can select it and this replay function will create for me a new replay list containing similar tracks.